So, this is going to be my third attempt at filming this bloody video. And it's just because I'm being stupid. There's no good explanation as surprising as this may be. Because I never do stupid stuff. Hello YouTube. I am back again with the same crappy yellow lighting, the same crappy hairstyle, and you guessed it, the same childish ears. I was actually just chilling on my bed and I got this wave of inspiration and I so badly want to try this look out. But I'm going to be honest, I've never done it before. I've never practiced it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. This is going to be one massive play session. I cannot guarantee results on this one, although judging by what my previous videos have been, I don't think your hopes were very high for results in the first place. I forgot my glitters in my makeup drawer. Now I gotta find them so I can put them on my eyeballs. Ooh. I am going for a more colorful kind of festival type look actually. I'm going to attempt to get quite a wide array of extremely bright rainbow colors all the way along the bottom lash line. I'm going to start with my foundation again with NYX and Essence primers. This one goes all over the face except my t-zone areas and then my NYX pore filler goes in there here and there. I'm just going to do that real quick. In case any of you are wondering, it is currently quarter to ten at night. Why did I start a makeup tutorial at quarter to ten at night? I've got no good answers for you. <sighs> I've got quite a few ideas for a couple other videos I want to do as well, but having a full-time job and finding the time to A, sit down and film, and B, edit, because editing's the hard part. Editing takes hours, and I don't have a fancy setup at all, duh, but I do all of this on my iPad, so it's not like I can sit on a PC and go click, 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 click. Why don't I do it on a PC? No, no, no good answers, no, none. I'm going to use a different foundation to what I used last time. This one is equally not my shade. This is the Essence Fresh and Fit makeup in the shade Fresh Ivory. You see, does that look like it matches to you? Oh, by the way, I'm not naked. And we're just going to dab, 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 I'm starting to remember why I bought the Patrice foundation. This one doesn't have a whole bunch of oomph. Considering I'm going quite wild with this look, I want slightly more coverage. So I'm just gonna bump it up ever so slightly with the Catrice. Ever so slightly with about nine gallons of foundation. 
once again I'm gonna go in with my camouflage concealer in light rose and stop putting rose in the name of your product if it's not pink hitting between the brows under the eyes down the bridge of the nose cupid's bow and chin Yes, it's going to stay there. I'm trying out the Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder. Hmm. Well, I'm matte. Onto the brows again. We're going to ignore the fact that I have got horrendous eyebrows. That is why God invented people who invented makeup. I did explain all the um, products I used in my last video. And I realized in my last video, I didn't even have sisters. I must have said it about 12,000 times. I had distant third cousins four times removed on their weird Uncle Steve side. But hopefully we'll, we'll get it more accurate this time around. We'll, 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 we'll do a, a better jo job. There is something making a... Someone's making a weird noise. It's the fan. Oh well. I'm going to try and make them more even this time because last time was an epic fail. I guess it's safe to say brows are not my strong point. It's happening again. Maybe that's why I constantly do this. You may have noticed the eyebrow action that went on in my last video. This brow, even like my natural hair, just grows so differently to this side. Hmm. I promise one day I might get good at my brows. One day. I'm just going to move straight into the eyes. Let's try go from like teal kind of greeny color to blue to purples and try to transition it that way and then we'll have a little bit of orange up on the eyelid or maybe a lot of orange let's just see how this evolves shall we the first color i have is this neon green basically use whatever colors you have available you can use any green you want from any brand you want. I, I tend to not always like to tell people the exact names of, and, and brands of the products I'm using. I know it's helpful and I will always do it where possible, but I don't want anyone to feel like they can't achieve these looks if they don't have the exact same products. That's just my two cents. So I'm gonna go in with like a neon green first. I've got like a little, small little fluffy brush. Do you know what I'm gonna try? This is an experimentation today, wow. I'm going to try glitter primer, because I don't have eyeshadow primer. Or I do, but it's not a very good one and I don't like it. So I'm gonna try tiniest bit of glitter primer to see if it will get the, to see if it'll get the shadows to stick better. Okay, so I'm just gonna slap some of that on. I have not planned this out at all. I've got no idea if this is going to work or not. Well, that's funky. Next. I'm going to bring some shit. So I'm going to go into another Beauty Treats palette. In fact, I didn't even realize that. I don't know what this is called. Right, they've got a gold one and a silver one. This is the silver one. And when you open it up, it's like a little kit. Please excuse the state of that bronzer. I used to use it a lot. I'm going to go in with that color and we're gonna blend that in a little bit next to the green. Just shoving it on there. We're just gonna trust that this is going to look at least a little bit cool by the time we're done. And then I'm gonna go in with the blue. I'm going in with a royal blue next. Recognize this guy. I'm going in with this kind of really vibrant, gorgeous, beautiful purple. <laughs> A little 
this is weird. I've got an LA Girls palette and this is the 10 color eye palette and it is parfait but it's this beautiful array of pinks and purples and I'm going to use Probably mostly this pink here, but I might transition it with a bit of this lighter pink. But I need a clean brush because that one is now blue. Before I do anything, glitter primer. I'm going to start with that darker pink. Ooh, it's not blending very well. But it's got good color payoff. Dang. Next. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Soft Glam palette. And I'm gonna go into the shade Orange Soda. And use this to blend out the pink. And when I say blend out, I mean <laughs> not blend at all. And then in the same Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, there's a shade called Berry, which is this gold shimmery kind of color there. I am going to with my finger and put that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and look at that. I did not know this was gonna look like this when I when I envisioned it in my brain, but I'm so happy. <laughs> We're going to attempt to just soften the very top here i just want to try soften that just a little bit that's really funky i quite like that i might add a winged eyeliner as well i don't know i didn't initially want to but then again i didn't initially want a lot of color on my top lids and look where we ended up what i'm going to do now is get my Too faced love light i met a white light highlighter which which is this really like pizzazzy, bright, white eyeliner. Eyeliner. Highlighter. <laughs> Give up. With the same compact pencil brush that I used in my previous video. And kind of try to pack it into the inner corner because I want this to be quite the look. Then I'm also going to get some on a slightly smaller flatter brush and get a bit pizzazzy under the eyebrows as well because we have to now we're too far down the rabbit hole shove on i don't use a lot of skill when i put my makeup on i literally just kind of slap it on and hope for the best Ooh. what you know what do you know what I am gonna blend out my bottom lash line just a tad just because I noticed some choppiness over there mm, I need some glitter yeah I'm gonna go with this glitter it's called sugar and it's from Ralo Raylo Ralo R-A-L-O Cosmetics. It is a cosmetic grey glitter. Please only use cosmetic grey glitters on your face. It looks just plain white. It's got a little bit of like blue-green flecks in it. So it is super pretty. But because we've got quite an intense look going on right now, I didn't want to go for even more color on the glitter. It might just be that little bit too much. That little bit too much. I'm gonna go back to my glitter primer. So first thing I'm gonna do is go back in with the same compact pencil brush that I used to put on my highlighter with. And I'm going back in again with my glitter primer. I never realized before, but this glitter primer actually has a little bit of like a pearlescent shift to it as well. It's real pretty. And then I'm gonna go in with my glitter. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go straight in to the bottle with my brush tap it on there and this is one of those looks where if you do get a lot of glitter fallout which I I do I can see it on my eyelashes it's okay because it's a crazy festival look you can just have glitter everywhere and the judgment will be minimal 
Let's be honest, if people are gonna judge you in this look, it won't be because you've got glitter on your cheek. It'll be because you look like a circus clown. Nonetheless, so that's on. Next step, I think, is going to be eyeliner. Like I said, I wasn't going to go for an intense crazy cat eye, but I think I, I have to now, I have to. It's just one of those things, like it has to be done. This is what happens when you don't measure out your angles first. Do you guys see? <laughs> Do you guys see that? I've got one going straight out and this one's like Let's see if we can fix that. At this point, I don't think it matters because this look is just bloody crazy anyway. Right. Cat eye on. What I actually think I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the brush I was using previously. This one. And go back into that gorgeous purple color. And kind of just use it to follow the winged eyeliner a little bit. A, because I think it looks cool. And B, because I messed up my eyeliner a little bit. This is a good way to cover it up. Cool. I am gonna go in the falsies today. These are Eyelure eyelashes in 80080. I just put a quick coat of mascara on my top lashes to blacken them out. Lashes are on, I hope. For those of you who think that I put a hell of a lot of effort into this, I don't. I literally just slap it on and hope for the best. Okay, I'm going to do my contour and blush and bronzer super quick. I'm not going to put a lot of contour and bronzer and stuff on today um, because I don't want to make this too much of a look even though I think that ship sailed a while ago. If you want a more detailed rundown of how I do my contour and my bronzing, you can check out my last video. Next thing is I'm gonna chuck on some highlighter real quick. I'm gonna go for this, this shade here in the Essence Glow to Go palette, which is like a rose gold kind of champagne -y color. Again, tip of the nose, little bit on the bridge, just between the eyes, and Cupid's bow. I just went over the highlighter I've already done with the I Met a White Light one, just to intensify it because I actually kind of like this super glowy around the eyes kind of effect. For blush, I'm gonna go into that kind of real Barbie pink kind of blush color. I'm just gonna get a little fluffy angle brush. This is very playful, so I'm gonna smile and do the whole apple of the cheeks thing. Mm. <gasps> I forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes. It's a blasphemy. That's not too bad. Finally, we're going for lips now. I have two options for lips, but I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go for. They're both Essence Metal Shock Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Night Stalker, and this one is in the shade Lily of the Valley. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to put these under the desk so I can't see them, shuffle them around, and then we'll consult Siri. Hey Siri, pick a number between one and two. A random number between one and two is two. Two. It's the pink. This is a look. This is actually a heck of a lot brighter 
than I thought it would be, which is making me think that I might want to do three different lip looks with this. This was the Essence Lip Pencil in the shade Lost in Love. And then I followed it up with the Essence Lipstick in the shade Unfortunately, even that label is like completely rubbed off. It's a pretty dusty kind of pink. And I picked it because it's very, very close. These two are more of my everyday lipstick. They're very, very close to my natural lip color. So if you were going to put a nude lip with this look, I would recommend picking a lipstick that is very close to your natural lip color. Ooh. Now this is fun. That's really cool. There you have it, that's three different lip options. That looks so weird. I hope you guys like this look. I had a lot of fun creating it. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Now this stains.